Hi everyone, Dennis Foley from Acoustic Fields. Today we're going to talk about the power triangle. You know, you've all seen diagrams of, you know, the two speakers and the listening position. So it forms a triangle, right? So that's what we're talking about, the power of this triangle. So we're going to walk through kind of features, benefits, characteristics, processes, and a little bit of the science behind it. So obviously we just talked about it's an equilateral triangle. And why? That's what we have to realize. Why? Because this is really important. So sound travels at a constant speed, right, within a certain atmosphere. So for all tents and purposes, it's predictable and consistent. So we can count on it, okay? It's not a variable. So we have constant speed travel and constant distance. When we're dealing with an equilateral triangle, right, all sides are equal. So the distance between all of those points Indexes? Is that what the points are called? I can't remember. So stereophonic sound requires this kind of predictability. That's why when engineers sit near field, you know, they have that kind of predictability. Less room sound, right? If you stay focused on the triangle, you're going to have more direct energy at the listening position than you are reflected energy from the sidewalls, floor, and ceiling. So that's why that area is very powerful. That's why I call it the power triangle. So what is what we really hear? Well, what we really hear is a balance between direct and reflected energy. Remember, the direct energy is the straight line energy from our speakers. But the reflected energy, that's all room sound. Okay, so that's all room sound. So we're trying to get, we can't live without these reflections, but we have to manage them. So if this is the direct sound, we want the reflection to kind of cross it after it's gotten to us. We want the reflected sound, I mean, that's not exactly how it happens, but for purposes of illustration, um, we want to cross, we don't want the reflected sound ahead of the direct sound. I don't know if that's even possible if you think about it, because that the direct is source of reflection, right? Sidewall reflections are the most critical for getting us that center channel image between the two speakers. And that's what we're doing all this for, to get two channels to sound like one, get stereo channels to sound like mono. <laughs> Not really, but you understand what the point is. Well, we do all of our uh, testing in our rooms, uh, vocal rooms especially, we use just male voice, mono, no stereo. So as you want to get, you know, all that, stereo stuff out of the signal, which is nice to listen to with certain musics, obviously, we all do it. But the sidewall reflections are the most critical. What's some time frame for the reflections? Well, the literature tells us 10 to 15 milliseconds. We go a little bit lower. We're, we're down in the fives and sevens, and that's in, in professional mix room. So you wanna just keep it below that straight line energy. And our foam, all that research and development in the 125 to 500 hertz range went into our foam. Look at the foam curve here. You can see it on our website in the About section. Look at the linearity. Look at Oralex and Sonex. Why would you treat a problem that's so critical in tone and pitch, music and voice, with a technology that has a huge suck out at 250? That's why these things don't work. That's why ours does. That's why it took $2 million in eight years. That's the curve for voice. That's what you're hearing in this video. The whole room is treated with our technology. So that's what you get. Linearity is critical for natural sounding voice. You can't have any spatial irregularities. Just like in frequency response in your room, you can't have any spatial irregularities in response. Okay, human voice, tone and pitch. We don't have predictability and consistency in our treatments. How in the world are we gonna squeeze out tone and pitch? The power triangle, very important, along with the treatment that goes with it. Hope this helps, thank you. Thank you for watching this video, and if you liked it, please give us a thumbs up. 
We also have a newsletter that you can subscribe to. So please do that because we offer special price discounts to only those on our newsletter. And then don't forget about our forum. We have started a forum on our own website where people ask questions and I usually get a chance every couple of days to look at it. There's an interchange between people on the forum and we'll give you real answers uh, on a regular basis. So that'll help you. Thank you.